Hello everyone, this is Silver Matorian. Welcome back to Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Last time we started Planker's Cavern. Planker being this little. little being an understatement. Shark here. And this time we're gonna finish it up. Or at least. Darn it, Banjo. Try to finish it up. We've already entered Planker through his teeth and his gills. Now we're gonna try to go into the blowhole if I can actually. There we go. Alright. Here is the Gruntilda switch. I've been looking for you. And we hit that, and... Gruntilda's eyes popped out. Right. Anyway, we have... Just gotta avoid these little... Crusher... Crusher, please. Blades here as we... That's not avoiding the blades, Banjo. Let's let Kazooie dodge the blades. That's not dodging the blades, Kazooie. And we get a Jinjo for our work. Nice job. Alright, I hope this is the way I wanted to go, because I really don't remember. Ah, darn it, it wasn't. Oh well, we'll just have to... No, actually, yeah, that was the way I wanted to go. Silly me. Anyway, now that we're at this flight pad here, which... I don't know why there's a flight pad in a mechanical cyborg shark stomach either. But now that we're on this flight pad, we could have fly we could fly over here to this pet Yeah. Yeah, there's no way. Ooh, more. Alright, bottles, how are we getting through this? This move lets us use Vigo's wings as a shield. Like I spoiled last video, the move in this level is invulnerability. How it works is hold Z in the right shoulder or right shoulder button. Wow, I swear I know my controllers. The right C button and you will become invulnerable. However, for your invulnerability will only last as long as you have gold feathers, and you can only have ten gold feathers at a time. Oh, thanks, Bottles. Really use that energy. Alright, that's the only move for this level, so let's make use of it. Another rather catchy-ish tune for this. So let's just run through here, get to the end, and jump up and grab the chicky. They give us another five gold feathers down here at the end, so we can get back through. And let's try not to miss that note on the path, because that would be bad. This controller should might be problematic if I'm not able to get out. Alright, Banjo. Work with me here. Give me a sec, I gotta unplug this controller and see if that can fix it. Uh, I should really see about finding a new Slumpton 64 controller. If anyone knows where I could get one, please let me know, because these controllers are not in the best shape. That's better. Alright, we have 64 notes, and I don't remember how many jiggies. We've explored pretty much all there is inside of Clanker himself, so everything else will pretty much be outside, along the walls, and in the water. So let's go check it out. Um, go outside the gill again. Uh, so that's everything inside of Clanker. Let's see, I've raised Clanker up. I shot his teeth, I raised the water in his stomach, I learned the move, I rolled the bolts up to the top. I didn't take his tail, I need to take his tail. Alright, camera angle was a little wonky there. So you walk up his tail nice and slow, like, and... That was not... That was weird. It's like he kept sliding and then glitching on top of it. Anyway, let's just go on down here first. Through this glowing tunnel of doom. What the heck has Gruntilda been doing? Alrighty then. What? Snippet Mutants. Where the Why, Gruntilda? Why did you mutate perfectly in... Okay, well, they're probably not perfectly innocent. Why did you mutate crabs, though? What possible purpose could you have gotten from mutating these crabs into these glowing monstrosities? I'm running out of words. I really am. But anyway, I just kill all the crabs here, they run away, more or less, and they leave you behind a jiggy on top of the obviously 
radioactive core thing here in the middle. So we jump up here. I said jump up there, Banjo. This music actually is probably one of my least favorite in the entire game. It's just... I, I kind of suppose it fits the idea here. You're fighting like, frantic creatures and stuff. It's just, it's not very interesting and it kind of gets on your nerves pretty easily. So let's get out of here quickly. Anyway, that's the mutant one. Um, what else is there to pick up? Oh, gold feathers. There's a few jiggies hidden at the end of these tunnels here. Let's probably go up to the surface so that I can go inside them with a full thing of air because I don't remember if it's this one, but one of them comes up to a dead end with either Jiggy or Jinjo at the end, and you have to swim all the way back. And it's easy to do that on one thing of air, but if you're not going in with full, it can end very badly. Ooh, Jinjo. Orange Jinjo left. I hope he's on the wall. I do not want to have to track down a Jinjo. That just does not sound like fun. Let's go back up and get more air. And back down. Nice job, Kazooie. Alright, so we swim in through here. And what's at the end of... Ooh, Mumbo Tokum. See? These Mumbo Tokums are a lot better than the one on that tooth. I don't need the one that was on that tooth. Out here and up to the surface again. I think there's only no wait. I think there's some notes on the bottom too. I'm gonna have to look for those. Let's check it out now. And then what's in this one? What is in tube number one? Survey says notes. Awesome. That makes this really easy. I do not have to look for the notes. All right. How many will that put me at? Seventy-nine. I hope the other 21 are on the top, because I do not want to have to search for notes again. Well, I know there's like 10 or so right there, and I know there's another 5 or so on the one wall, so just find them all. Alright, I think this is the one that leads to a dead end, so let's try to rush our way through it. And I wonder what Kazooie does, because her feathers don't even look like they're wet. I mean, does she have some sort of product or something for that? And like. Banjo. Ooh, speaking of wet, I have to get sorry for his doing me. I know what dog smell isn't pleasant, but I couldn't imagine what a wet bear smell might be. That's just a weird thought, really. What would a wet bear smell like? Well, hopefully we'll never have to find out, and I once again forgot to check how many jiggies I'm up to. Go silver. Alright, um, since we're messing up with the camera. Right. Since we're near Clanker, let's try to get off to that place by his tail again. And nice. Let's see if we can get up on his body and towards the tail again. And up the tail. And swim one way. And alright. This time I'm checking. Nice job, Major. Alright, how many jiggies do I have? I have... Eight or nine. Alright, I only have one jiggy left, and that's the Jinjo jiggy. So you just, just gotta help me find that last little Jinjo. Alright, so... Let's see if I can do this without falling off for the controller. Apparently I can't. Take three. Come on. Yeah, I think... I don't even know why I do this anymore. I've been out of force of habit for so long. It might have been when I was younger I found the swimming either annoying or I felt that that was faster than swimming, so... And it's just over the years that's become force of habit to just jump in when I'm swimming all the time unless I'm underwater. And awesome. Okay, we're on this side, and... There's the one, two, three. Another one more token. That puts us up to 11. Alright, so we need... 11 more notes. Well, let's turn this side. Let's check this side of the wall. And best way to do that is to climb this. Climb up this pipe here. Thank you. 
know if I actually need Kazooie for that. But, ooh, another, um, shock pad. And a note. And a feather. And an egg. And a gold feather. And this repeats. And this is really nerve-wracking because I'm afraid my controller's gonna mess up. Anyway... Ow. Thanks a lot. Alright, so we just need ten more notes now. Um... I hope there's other ten notes on this side. Ooh, we still have to find the empty honeycomb pieces. I know where one is, but I'm not sure about the other, so... We're probably gonna be here looking for a little bit. I think we can jump both to the left and to the right. Yep. Alright, and then we can jump over here to this, and I'm on up. So, what's up here? There are eggs. There's a bubble token. And that's it. I've got to be a bit more careful, because I'm about to die. Well, I'm not about to die, but I'm close for comfort. I would not have to find all of these notes again. Stupid controller really does make this difficult. Maybe if I try it and alter the there we go. And jump. But yeah, just using the shock pad to actually jump from the edge of the platform does make that a lot easier. And I heard Jinjo. Jinjo down here. Is Jinjo. Yep. There's the last Jinjo, which will give us our tenth and final G for the stage. And he does the grab animation, and then he does his little dance. Alright, let's jump out of here, and I like these notes. Oh, cool. I just gotta find the empty honeycomb pieces now, which I believe there's one down here. And yes, there is. Alright, where is the last honeycomb piece? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to call it here. This is Silver Praetorian. This has been Let's Play Banjo Kazooie. Join me next time as I locate the final honeycomb piece and proceed to open up the next world and a few other helpful things. Uh, thanks for watching.